正会。Rebirth of the malicious empress of military lineage, Chapter 96. Getting closer, Shin Miao sat down for a while in Princess Rongzin's residence. Changed clothes and her hair was restyled by the maids. After drinking a cup of tea, Princess Rongzin then walked in. Shen young lady should be all right. Princess Rongzin smiled. Had already instructed the kitchens to bring over some ginger tea. In such a cold day, one must warm the body up, else it would be easy to catch a cold. Shen Miao replied with a smile. Many thanks to your princess highness. But there was still some doubts in her heart as Princess Rongzin was never this pleasant to her before, and at the moment that face did not have any of the strictness and indifference of the past lifetime, making Shen Miao doubt if the person in front was truly Princess Rongzin. When she was pondering, Princess Rongzin was also sizing her up, and her gaze was very thoughtful. Even though Princess Rongzin did not like to head outside, but all the rumors in the Ding capital would flow to her ears. But because she did not often go outside, the information she had not been updated, and it stopped at the point that the deborn fifth young lady of the Shen residence of the Ding capital was an idiot. In Princess Rongzin's impression, Shen Miao was timid and cowardly, but only when pursuing a male she would become very bold. She did not have any talents or virtues and was very vulgar. How would she be worthy of Zi Jingxing, whose appearance and studies were top notch? However, at this moment. The female looked delicate and attractive. Eyes were as clear as water, and even though she was only sitting, there was a rare magnificence and prestige for such an age that made her to could not help but change her point of view a little. Tonight the Wan Li Lake is too crowded, and Shen Young Lady had strayed away from family, so one is presumably scared. Princess Rongzin smiled after finishing the ginger tea. Bing Gong will let the servants send you back. There was a little probing on her face. Today you met with a trouble. Bing Gong Zer, A.K.A. nephew, unprecedentedly came to look for me for help. Zer naturally referred to Zi Jingxing. Shen Miao looked at Princess Rongzin's loaded expression and was unsure how to continue that line of words. After pausing, she then said, "Little Zi Marquis is a brave and chivalrous person. One has made a disturbance." Finishing, she felt grieved with her own words. Zi Jingxing, brave and chivalrous, he was clearly black-hearted. Today, she was actually implicated by Zi Jingxing, but now it was like she had received a favor from him. Princess Rongzin saw that Shen Miao had used some distancing words, seemingly to deliberately clarify the relationship with Zi Jingxing, and was satisfied in her heart. If Shen Miao was one who climbed all over someone. Upon receiving Zi Jingxing's little help, she would not wait to take advantage of Zi Jingxing's relationship with her and pester him over and over again. If that was so, then Princess Rongzin would look down on Shen Miao. Even though one looked favorably on young female and male relationships, but one after all came from the royal family with strict etiquettes, thus one would look down on secret relationships. What disturbance! Princess Rongzin smiled cordially. Jing Xing, that child, also said that you are his friend, and there is no need to stay ceremonious between friends. Speaking of which, Jing Xing is Bing Gong Zhi, and since you have a friendship with him, it is also possible to see of Bing Gong as your own Yi Mu. Shen Miao was holding the teacup and almost choked on the tea. To see Princess Rong Zhin as one own Yi Mu, even in the past life when she married to Fu Ziyu Yi. Princess Rongzin was really her Yi Mu, but when she wanted to privately fawn Princess Rongzin, she, however, said coldly, "Let the matter drop. Bing Gong do not have such you as a Zenu, A.K.A. niece." That cold Princess Rongzin that rejected her that time now said warmly to her, "It is also possible to see of Bing Gong as your own Yi Mu." Shen Miao felt that she was most likely dreaming, seeing her being somewhat startled. The more Princess Rongzin felt that this child was honest and did not have those scheming intentions of the noble young ladies, she pulled her hands over. Bing Gong, do not have any children. In the future, there is no harm for you to come over to Bing Gong here to visit. She slipped the bracelet from her own wrist and put it in Shen Miao's hands. Take this as Bing Gong's gift for the first meeting. This is too valuable. 
Shen Miao declined. This bracelet was a double loop sandblasted peony jade and there were a total of five gold rings that were interlocking. This was the late great imperial concubine's dowry, which was Princess Rong Xin's birth mother's dowry that was given to her when Princess Rong Xin got married. In her previous life, Shen Miao saw that Princess Rong Xin treasured this bracelet a lot. It is for you to wear. Princess Rong Xin smiled. It is only a small plaything. One believe that your family have various jewelry, gold and silver so do not despise this. How would this official's daughter despise great imperial concubine's bracelet? Shen Miao said, this is just too valuable. Princess Rong Xin was surprised for a moment. How do you know that his is great imperial concubine's bracelet? Shen Miao also paused and cursed in her heart. Because she was the mistress of the six palaces in her past life, naturally she was familiar with the matters of the women folk of the palace, but in this life she was only the daughter of an official, thus one would not know such a private matter of the imperial family. Seeing Princess Rong's in skeptical gaze, Shen Miao had a sudden inspiration and smiled. One heard Little Z Marquis mentioning before. Little Z Marquis and your Princess Highness's relationship is close and he would often mention about your Princess Highness. So it is like this. Princess Rong Xin's face softened down and said with gratification, Bing Gong also treated him as one's own child for all these years, it is good that he still have a conscience. Speaking of that, her gaze towards Shen Miao was not the same. But he actually told such a matter to you. Shen Miao's body stiffened and heard Princess Rong Xin said, It seemed that he had truly treat you as a friend. Princess Rong Xin sighed, Jing Xing, this child, even though he looked somewhat stubborn and obstreperous, he is a good one. After so many years, Bing Gong had not seen him setting his heart on any young lady before. She smiled delightedly at Shen Miao. You are the first one. Shen Miao secretly thought that this appearance of Princess Rong Xin was like she was really Zi Jing Xing's birth mother. But Zi Jing Xing picked her not because of what romance. One fear that Zi Jing Xing was suspicious of her. It was really a headache to take every step while having to deal with that kind of intelligent people. Just at this moment the maid brought over the freshly brewed ginger tea. Princess Rong Xin was chatting with Shen Miao and was also watching her drink the ginger tea. The more she casually chatted with Shen Miao, the more Princess Rong Xin liked her. She discovered that not only that Shen Miao was not the idiot that was rumored to be, but was also experienced and knowledgeable and even had great magnanimity. Even though it was simply chatting but with each of Shen Miao's actions and her look s, she wondered how did an unmarried female that was raised in the inner courtyard, have such a broad vision. Thinking of the previous matter of Shen Miao in love with Prince Ding, Princess Rong Xin's was a little concerned in her heart. Even though Prince Ding was also her sir, aka nephew, but as compared to Fu Ziyu Yi, Princess Rong Xin was more biased towards Zi Jing Xing, and with such an outstanding young lady like this, Princess Rong Xin did not wish her Zi to miss the chance, and thus she kept praising Zi Jing Xing as she chatted with her. Princess Rong Xin had a cold and old-fashioned character that let alone outsiders, even with relatives including Emperor Wen Hu, she would put on a cold appearance, but today to be actually talking pleasingly with an unfamiliar young lady made everyone's jaws in the princess residence drop. But one did not know that in the previous lifetime when Shen Miao married Fu Ziyu Yi, she looked forward to please all of Fu Ziyu Yi's relatives, so she had inquired a lot on Princess Rong Xin and naturally knew to adapt to one's fancy. There was little success in the previous life, but because of the layer of relationship with Zi Jing Xing this time, it happened to fit Princess Rong Xin appetite. If she knew that Princess Rong Xin was that easy to please, in her previous life she only needed to build a good relationship with Zi Jing Xing, why the extra trouble? Talking till a stick of incense almost burned complete, Princess Rong Xin then got up and said, The time is not early, if one do not send you back to the residence. One fear that General Shen and Shen Furen would be too anxious. Bing Gong had already prepared the horse carriage to send you back. When she finished speaking, she stood up and called for others. When Shen Miao followed Princess Rong Xin out, 
she was shocked with the disposition of forces. Princess Rongzin's horse carriage was incomparably gorgeous, but what made one shocked was the squad of guards that were wearing swords. Princess Rongzin smiled, there are a lot of people on the streets today. With more people guarding, it would prevent any accidents from happening. There was no way for Shen Miao to refuse the other party's kind intentions. Moreover by borrowing Princess Rongzin's prestigious disposition of forces, she could fix some people in the Shen residence. She accepted the goodwill and relayed her thanks to Princess Rongzin before going up the horse carriage. The crowds on the Ding Capital Street had not reduced even till now since the fireworks were really set off the entire night. And when such an ostentatious entourage of people and carriage appeared, it was indeed eye-catching. On the wall on the corner of the street, there was a youth with a fox coat who was standing on it and there was a middle-aged strong guy standing behind. The strong guy said, Her Princess Highness actually sent so many guards to send Shen young lady back, and Rong is not a person that can bin fawn easily. That youth said with interest, This young lady of the Shen family really have great ability. The middle-aged person remained silent until he suddenly heard that the youth besides spoke, How about the survivors that were caught today? Replying Master, all of them were locked in the tower prison. Three of those were suicide soldiers and had already committed suicide by consuming poison. The remaining three had their jaws unhinged and refused to say anything. Then pick one and break his bones. Do not let a single inch of his body off. I do not need to teach the logic of killing the chicken to scare the monkeys. Yes. The strong man hesitated those that sneaked into the city. Find them out and kill without pardon. The flow of people in the Ding capital was bustling, but there was danger and unsettledness under the bustle. But there were no traces of all that in the general's residence. Within the main hall of the Shen residence, everyone was standing solemnly. Shen Zin and wife were standing in the middle and could not conceal their worries while Shen Kaiyu was filled with annoyance. After searching for the entire night they were unable to find Shen Miao's whereabouts. Shen Zin and wife were not fools and knew that in such a situation, most likely she was not abducted by kidnappers, who would not care that within a few steps the Shen family guards were present and still kidnapped Shen Miao. Normal kidnappers would not take such a big risk, thus one fear that someone was out for revenge. Shen Zin and wife did not know the matter of Prince Yu's residence but Shen Kaiyu was well aware of it. Shen Miao was more or less involved with the extermination of Prince Yu's entire household and if Prince Yu's residence's faction was determined to take revenge for their master, one could imagine what kind of ending would Shen Miao have if she fell into their hands. Shen Zin even dispatched the Shen family's army and also secretly informed the city garrison to bring up their guards. They even searched house to house in the capital and were unable to find anything. Thus as time passes, Shen Zin and the few of them almost went crazy. Chen Rikayu gently and tenderly spoke, eldest brother and eldest Sao. The matter cannot go on like this. Why not? Report it to the authorities. If the authorities are aware, it would mean that the capital administrator could come forward to search instead of us. This is another way. Correct. Shin Wan also spoke, eldest brother, the longer the matter drags on, the more disadvantageous it is to little five. The Shen family had been outside searching and others would be suspicious when they see them. Shen Yu stood behind Chen Rikayu and had her head lowered so that others would not be able to see her raised lips. She deserved it. The news of Shen Miao going missing was the happiest news she heard for the day. She did not need to think more and was only hoping that Shen Miao would be like Shen King and lose her innocence before being sent back. From then onwards she would be the only Di daughter of the Shen family. At that time, so what if Shen Zin and wife have military power in their hands and Shen Kaiyu that older brother is there to protect? Shen Miao's reputation would be destroyed and would not be able to raise her head for the rest of her life. No way. Luo Zuyin brows tightened and looked fiercely at Chen Rikayu. If one were to make a report to the authorities then Zhao Zhao's reputation would be ruined. The matter of Shen Miao's disappearance. They actually wanted to hide it from the others but the other households of the Shen family were all very alert. Paper after all could not cover fire so Shen Miao's disappearance at the end was uncovered. And Shen Zin and Shen Kaiyu had searched for the entire night unsuccessfully, 
and could only order their subordinates to continue to search as they headed back to the residence to make plans. Eldest Sao, Chen Rikayu had a sincere face on, is Zhao Zhao's reputation more important than her life? If a girl lost her life because of her reputation, one fear that Eldest Sao would regret in the future. Chen Rikayu, who are you cursing? When Luo Zhu Yan heard Chen Riki's words, she suddenly shouted angrily. She was an impatient one, it was nothing if one say anything about her, but she could not tolerate anyone saying anything bad about Shen Miao, and immediately she fell out with Chen Rikayu. Quarrel what quarrel? Old Shen Furin who all the while had been silent spoke and glared at Luo Zhu Yan. You yourself was the one who lost fifth daughter and still lose your temper at someone else. Second one's family said wrongly somehow. Time has passed for so long. If fifth daughter's life is gone then what is the use of reputation? These words on the surface sounded like they were really thinking of Shen Miao. But Luo Zhu Yan felt uncomfortable and subconsciously wanted to refute. That is correct eldest Shen. Shen Yuan also spoke. Even if one do not report to the authorities, as the Shen family guards keep making such a big ruckus looking for people, one fear that by tomorrow there will be others that have guessed the truth. At that time, what is the difference between reporting and not reporting to the authorities? Shen Yuan already view Shen Miao as an eyesore and would be content with nothing less than her destruction. He currently had not yet take action and Shen Miao herself had encounter a misfortune. How could he get by if he did not pour oil onto the fire? Shen Gui was even happier, but he was not used to standing out, and only showed some regret as he said, I, little five is a good child, how could one meet with such a matter? Eldest brother, do you have any enemies? The person Shen Gui hated the most was no other than Shen Xin. The more meritorious Shen Xin's achievements were, the more it suppressed him thus if Shen Miao had an accident because of Shen Xin, then Shen Xin would feel guilty for the rest of his life. So Shen Gui pointed the sharp knife towards Shen Xin's heart. Wan Yi Niang pulled Shen Dongling over and stood behind Shen Gui. She was just a Yi Niang and had no place to speak. Even when she listened to the rest and did not say anything, her hands that were holding Shen Dongling tightened as she was secretly happy that Shen Dongling was not abducted. Shen Dongling lowered her head and one did not know what expression she had on. Enough, eldest one, be it left or right it would be known to others. At present reporting to the authorities would perhaps let little fifth to suffer less. Better to report it early. Old Shen Furan said that but a radiant look flashed in her eyes. What she hated the most was old General Shen Zhu on Pei's son that suppressed her sons in every matter. It was fortunate that Shen Miao failed to live up to expectation as it made her heart feel so much better. No one knew since when Shen Miao had been suppressing Shen King and Shen Yu and in addition Shen Kaiyu was shaking the residence every day and that made her heart panic. Now it was rare to see Shen Miao fall into bad luck so old Shen Furin was actually secretly delighted. She could not wait to report to the authorities and let the entire Ming Chi know that Shen Miao was abducted by kidnappers. Best was if she lost her innocence so the Shen family's eldest household would not be able to raise their heads then this would be something to be happy about. Before Shen Xin and Luo Zhu Yan spoke, Shen Kaiyu already clenched his fists tightly. He was young and impetuous but that did not mean that he could not observe the scene. These people on the surface all said to be thinking of Shen Miao, but their eyes were filled with secret delight and gloating as they threw rocks when one was down. It was of no wonder that Shen Miao changed so much in a year and had now deep thoughts and was so mature that she was not like a child. This was all forced out by the Shen family. There was never a clearer moment like this for him to understand what kind of environment Shen Miao had been living in. Luo Zhu Yan and Shen Xin exchanged a look and their eyes were almost fierce and malicious. If one were to say that there were some misunderstandings regarding the fire at the ancestral hall, it was because they did not see the cause of the matter. But this scene was clearly presented in front of them. Luo Zhu Yan was furious but Shen Xin was extremely shocked and disappointed. He treated them with sincerity, respect and even helped them, but when his daughter was in trouble, what he saw was secret delight. Shen Xin suddenly felt that the past picture of loving and happy scenes were so mocking. Shen Yu worriedly said, 
Would these people do anything to fifth younger sister? Fifth younger sister has a good appearance, and one heard that those good-looking young ladies would be sold even further away by the kidnappers. If they were not kidnappers then to use such a great effort, they would not treat fifth younger sister well. As she spoke, two tears flowed down as if she was in a very sad state. Shen Dongling who was quietly standing at the side saw the ironic scene in front but still looked on blankly without speaking. Eldest brother, to report the case to the authorities or not? Shin Wan asked. Just at that moment when the atmosphere was at a stalemate, suddenly one heard the voice of a footboy outside, Furen, master, fifth young lady have returned. That footboy ran into the main hall and did not even rest. Fifth young lady was brought back by the people from the prince's residence. Everyone first jumped in shock when the footboy said that Shen Miao had returned to the residence, and Shen Xin and wife were pleasantly surprised and have yet to recover to their senses when princess residence words was uttered. It was Shen Wan's whose heart moved and took a step forward and asked, which princess residence? That footboy panted heavily and said with excitement, it is Her Highness Princess Rong Xin that sent a lot of people to bring fifth young lady back to the residence. The guards are standing outside the residence's doors. Princess Rong Xin, Chen Rikayu's footsteps paused and bit down on her lips all of a sudden. Princess Rong Xin disregarded matters of the imperial court and for the men, it was nothing much, but for women, it was not the same especially to the circle of noble ladies in the capital. Now all the women folk in the palace all would sell Princess Rong Xin a favor, but Princess Rong Xin was one who was difficult to get close. She was serious and old-fashioned and many noble furans that wanted to fawn her would at the end suffer, and this legendary serious and old-fashioned princess actually personally sent Shen Miao back. Seeing the kind of disposition of forces, it was not low at all. Chen Rikayu's heart almost went crazy with jealousy. Shin Xin and Luo Zhu Yan did not say a second word as they ran towards the residence's door. The rest of the people saw that and also followed behind. One saw that there was a dense mass of people at the general's residence's door, and upon coming closer they then saw that they were all guards wearing armor and brandishing swords which made everyone shocked. There was also a crowd of commoners who gathered to watch, most likely they did not know what kind of tricks the Shen residence was playing. Shen Xin and Luo Zhu Yan were surprised for a moment as it was beyond their expectations to see that many guards. They later saw a person who looked like a female official walking to the horse carriage and supporting Shen Miao down. Luo Zhu Yan quickly went out and said worriedly, Zhao Zhao. Shen then looked up and down at Shen Miao and only when seeing that Shen Miao looked as usual, she then gave a sigh of relief. That female official said smilingly, Today when Her Princess Highness was traveling leisurely at the Wanli Lake, as luck would have one saw fifth Shen young lady who had stayed away. The princess's horse carriage accidentally knocked fifth Shen young lady, and thus brought fifth Shen young lady back to rest. One did not expect to have incited General Shen's and Shen Furin's worries. The princess let this servant apologize. The words not only frankly explained how Shen Miao and Princess Rong Xin came together, even though the matter was somewhat strange, but Princess Rong Xin had already concluded the matter so no one dared to question more. With so many guards that attracted so much onlookers, one fear that even if someone wanted to spread any unfavorable rumors, no one would believe them and that would truly verify Shen Miao's innocence. Behind the crowd, old Shen Furan's face turned green. After waiting for Shen Miao to be unlucky today, unexpectedly a Princess Rong Xin appeared so old Shen Furan started to hate that metal so Princess Rong Xin, her Princess Highness is too modest. This Shen person is thankful of her Princess Highness for saving one's little daughter. Shen Xin replied and bowed. That servant quickly moved sideways to avoid it and smiled. One dare not receive General Shen's bow. Since the person was returned, this servant would leave first. Finishing speaking, she prompted the guards to move and when they were just about to leave, she suddenly seemed to have remembered something and walked over to Shen Miao's side to say, the princess is extremely fond of fifth Shen young lady and had received too hastily today. Before leaving she had also said that in the future if fifth Shen young lady is free, 
to visit the princess residence, her princess highness would definitely entertain well. Only when the words were finished did she left with the guards and carriage. Princess Rongzin was very fond of Shen Miao, and also requested Shen Miao to visit the princess residence when she was free. The Shen family were all standing at the residence doors and were stunned with the last sentence of the female official. Shen Yu almost wringed the handkerchief in her hands into pieces. She naturally knew about Princess Rongzin and knew how difficult it was to get close with this princess. One did not know what kind of demonic magic Shen Miao used that even Princess Rongzin had a whole new level of respect for her, and to even build a relationship with the imperial family. Like that would not one be able to have a relationship with His Highness Prince Ding in the future? This time Shen Yu was genuinely anxious. Shen Dongling's eyes moved and she heard Wan Yi Niang envious voice, Fifth young lady is really lucky. This is actually the princess. Shen Yu on scoffed and did not take one more look at the residence's door and left with a brush of his sleeves. Shen Miao smiled gently to the Shen family. One had made everyone worry today. Her words had lightly sketched out everything, but it immediately made Shen Xin and wife to remember the faces of the Shen family just now and their expression became somewhat ugly. Seeing that Shen Miao was fine, the rest of the Shen family was disappointed and was so angry that they were unable to breathe. After old Shen Furen reprimanded Shen Miao, they all departed with some excuse. Shen Miao followed Shen Kaiyu and the rest towards the western courtyard. Upon seeing Shen Kaiyu's and the rest of their expressions, she evidently understood. Previously she deliberated delayed and did not let the people of the princess residence to inform the Shen family of her whereabouts. During times of adversity, sincere feelings could be seen and likewise, during times of adversity one could also see hypocrisies. Shen Xin's view of the Shen family could not be changed overnight. Just like in her previous life she still had a strain of hope on Fu Ziyu Yi even at her last moments. People could not recover all their feelings overnight so in order to let Shen Xin totally change his view on the Shen family, a period of time was still required. Just nice, one could take the advantage of this opportunity to let Shen Xin see clearly that the Shen family people were such a pack of wolves when they were still in the residence. Facing with Shen Miao falling into dire straits, how did the Shen family's people hit someone when they were down, and what more Shen Miao had to suffer when Shen Xin was not in the Ding capital? Shen Xin was not a fool and naturally could guess. Sure enough upon reaching the western courtyard, Shen Xin and Luo Zhu Yan carefully asked in detail about some matters tonight and after confirming she was alright then instructed Shen Miao to rest early. Both of them left and also called Shen Kaiyu along, obviously to discuss about some matters. After all three of them left, Shen Miao took advantage that no one was around and folded her trousers up and exposed her calf. The wound was bandaged with a white silk cloth and it was as if it still had that someone's hand temperature on it. A night full of unexpected incidents but one seemed to have a better understanding of Zi Jing Xing but one also felt more dangerous. In the future, it was better not to have any contacts at all. In the eastern courtyard, Shen Yuan was sitting in the room with an uncertain and gloomy expression on. After Ren Wanyan went insane, he rarely went over to visit and was also faintly discernibly distant with Shen Gui. He was not one who valued relationships and loyalty, he could even kill his own younger sister. Naturally everything was for his best interest. Tonight one had thought that it would be hard for Shen Miao to escape from this one, but who knew that Shen Miao not only returned intact, but also had connected to the prince's residence. This made Shen Yu on feel a trace of danger. The opponent's strength was not enough to bring about fear, but what was scary was that this opponent was getting constantly stronger. From an idiotic young lady who could be bullied by anyone, to be one who no one dared to underestimate her deep thoughts, her vicious and cruel means, and that even Princess Rong Zin, who was such an old-fashioned person was also subdued by Shen Miao made one cannot help but think that if in the future, if Shen Miao had the heart and mind, could she find an even more powerful person to back her up? The more people she draw over to her side, could it be that the next one she would be dealing with, was him? It was considered a disgrace to Shen Yuan, such a proud person, 
to consider a little young lady as an opponent, however, he had to admit that because of this little young lady that just reached a marriageable age, his second household fell into such a state. Shen Yuan had never let a future problem that would hinder himself go. Shen Miao had harmed the second household to this state. Obviously she would not be benevolent and would one day move the target to him. Shen Miao was not difficult to deal with. The thing that was hard was that behind her there was Shen Xin and Wo Zhu Yan. One would still have to take that into consideration. But, Shen Yuan looked at the letter in his hands and suddenly smiled. Even though the Shen family's first household had military power but of there was no qualified successor to carry on one's undertaking, they would only be a pile of mud. One did not know if after removing Shen Miao and Shen Kaiyu, this pair of siblings, would Shen Xin and wife be like Ran Wan Yun and go insane with pain?